Today, I have something special for you. We will go for the highest level possible, and hopefully it's not a disappointment. Now, if I suddenly jump up and scream, then something went wrong over here in this game. As you can see, the timer is right now 150 minutes, and I want to go as long as possible. So, if you didn't see the video about the update on 20 minutes till dawn today, then, uh, yeah, it's still running. Which means that was 18 hours ago. <laughs> Well, either way, let's go for our good old friend here. And this one is actually a very, very, very complicated one. Uh, banish. We will do something very specific. And I don't exactly know what is going wrong when I do it, but I just die. Like, I die every single time. So, oh, there we have pentagram already, nice. Usually something you do not want to take this early. But for whatever reason, so far I've only died, so I have a different strategy now. And let's see if that will maybe work out. I hope so. I will pretty much go for a more defensive build with armor and stuff like this. The problem is I want to go for as much curse as possible, and that has proven to be a very, very big problem since I just die, as I just said. So, yeah. And Kent Labrador, there we go again. What can we expect today, given that the last run, where I did the first initial show off with the character, ah, sure, why not, with the character, I got to level 600. Well, I can't promise you anything, whether it will work out or not, simply because I don't have it figured out yet, but I would say we will go for a very, very high level that I think I never reached on this channel entirely, like even in modded runs. The thing is, in my modded runs, I don't want to go for absolute crazy stuff, right? Like, even in the all weapons in one game, I usually tend to balance it out by giving me certain restrictions that you don't know about, like less growth or something like this. Oh no, it starts. Oh, well, there we go. But yes, I do give myself certain restrictions, and it keeps the game in a somewhat of a balance, okay? The, the point is still to go crazy, but it's not something like give yourself 5 million growth and just watch your levels go up, right? Which, given that we have now limit break, that could actually be interesting and fun to do. But, as I said, not the point here. I don't want any of these. I could go for Brazer, though. No, I can't afford... Uh, of course, even now you wiped it. I don't think I can afford it, and I think what I have to do is I have to go for a tanky-ish build, like not fully tanky, but somewhat tanky, in combination with additional pickup range. Now one thing that I didn't try out so far is the attract orb, and I will do it today. The one item in the game that I constantly trash talk, maybe it will have its use today. Okay, Labrador, there we go. I don't want to have too much curse, as you can see, they just beat me up. Now the problem is to get to limit break. Oh my god. <laughs> to get to limit break, you need to have everything maxed out, right? Including all the items that you have. That means if I have something like Torona that has 100% curse at the very end, I can't avoid that. That will happen before I get the limit break. There's a track door, very nice. I probably just underestimated how much you have to dodge on this character. And yeah, that is actually going a lot better now. That is a lot, a lot better. Wow. Yeah, who would have thought, if you don't have to actually go there and pick everything up, then it's a lot easier. And there's a magnet, there's Toruna's box. That means I only need one more to get the empty tome, which is armor. And uh, I don't like this one. I think I'll just banish the brazer here. There we go. And wow, it actually didn't wipe it, that means we will get an upgrade for... Oh! So this one does upgrade all the items. Like, on Mad Forest, that is not the case. It only upgrades the weapons up until 10 minutes. Let's go for a little bit more curse. I can take this. There we go. Or maybe the optimal strategy would have been to just save up a ton of experience, you know, for the first 10 minutes, and then you just go ham and upgrade everything at the same time. I could have also been. Uh, tracked up again. Where's the armor? Did I banish it? No, I didn't banish anything this run. Wait, what? Didn't I just banish something? What? doesn't show me something. There's another vacuum. Thank you. Well, uh, that was a lot of damage for nothing. Empty tone, please stop showing up, okay? You know that I want you. I'm even walking over to you. Uh, well, pentagram is at least working with me here. Okay. Maybe I just have to stand inside of here for quite some time until my holy sword is finished. 
or strong enough to kill all the enemies. Because the problem will... Be what are you doing? Wait, what? I don't remember them getting stuck behind that there. Weird. No, but what I need to do is I have to get my Holy Sword to a point where it just kills everything. Which means it has to be big enough. It also needs cooldown, but cooldown will not be a problem given that we will have Empty Tome once I get the armor. <laughs> once I get the armor. <laughs> Game. <laughs> what is going on with you? And by the way, on the beta server that I'm playing on right now, there we go, finally. On the beta server, the moon, the gorgeous moon, is changed, okay? So the more amount that you get, the better the drop rate will be for the experience gems, so you get better ones. I think it's not more, I think the developer wrote better ones, so it has an actual effect. The only thing that has no effect right now is if you get the chance. So we will not take the chance, okay? We will not take the chance, but we will take the amount. And whenever we don't get a mount, then we will go for the Heaven Sword here to upgrade it. Now there is a reason why you would want to go for chance instead, regardless. And I will say this with a disclaimer, careful, there will be a ton of flashing in this video, okay? Like I will trigger Moon, if I can, as much as possible, pretty much every single level up, as, as soon as we have Heaven Sword at a point where it can protect me. So you can imagine, if we have these explosions going off every 0.5 seconds or so, yeah, there will be a lot of choo 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 choo. Oh, there was a weapon chest. And by weapon chest, this just means it can only upgrade your weapons. They are maxed out. That means that couldn't upgrade anything else. And there we go. Armor. Nice. Okay, but I have to find a way now how I do this without dying. I think I will go over to the Guardians and I will position myself next to them that I can take the rings later on. But I don't want to have them early on. It will just kill me. Uh, then again, I could get the arrow. No, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. The arrow does give me more HP, but I don't think this is the key to do this. And there we go. The Heaven Sword is continuously shooting out. You might say, Dex, why do you not go for Duplicator? Uh, the reason is, Duplicator doesn't help me. <laughs> Believe it or not, it does not help me. Well, looking at it right now, it would help me. Wait, what? Okay, so the thing is, as I said, I died already. And something really weird is going on right now. In the last recording, and maybe I can give a snippet that you see what happened there, I had exactly this setup with a slight bit difference on the items, and I was shooting two swords at once. Yeah, I will not go for spinach, but I do have something on my mind. Now, as a warning, there will be a ton of flashing in this game. Wait, what? Am I shooting out two heaven swords? Wait, what? I'm not the only one seeing that, right? So, I don't know what's going on right now. Something is weird. Like, how was I able to shoot two swords there? And now it's just one sword. And a mount would have actually helped here, Duplicator. Well, what would I have replaced it with? Yeah, I don't really have anything. Nah, it, it's fine. But still, that is so weird. Uh, Toronto's box, there we go. I think the way I have to do this is I have to hide in a corner in the where the gold mask is. And I will just hide there until I grab one big gem that has all the experience in it. And then we just go ham. Then we just hope that it is enough to survive. Now as you can see I can tank the enemies quite easily right now. That's because of all the curse that I have. But I will have to gamble on this later on. Pretty much at minute 9. Ooh. And I think I will wait until we hit minute 10, where the boss appears, before I pick up anything. Otherwise, I'm just forced to take all the curse. I mean, it could happen that I just get forced, I can't change that then. Yeah, maybe it would be better to not walk over to the Guardians right now, and just position myself in here. So, can I protect myself by standing here? It definitely looks like it. And if it looks like that, then I can just keep moving. Wah. Just to get a little bit closer, you know, that I don't have to travel as far later on. Oh, but I keep leveling up. I don't like that. Hmm. There's the boss. There was the boss. Oh no, Dex, why did you do that? Okay, it was a weapon upgrade. Very good. Still surprised why I don't have the double swords anymore. Yeah, I don't even remember what was different there. 
It must have been something. That is a given, but I don't know what. Okay, so how long can I hide here that nothing happens to me? It doesn't look like too, too long. The only good part is the Heaven Sword seems to always go down, which means if I just give it area, it should be able to always protect me. Now, whether that's really the case or not, we'll see in a moment. Um... Okay, the other issue is Pendagram will actually wipe out all the experience if it gets a chance to do that. Which I don't want to see. So maybe I should be moving a little bit. Okay. I think before 9 minutes I will move down and collect the experience. Okay, 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 there we go. Churamimo! There it is. There's the red gem. This is what I'm looking for. And there we go. Okay, okay. Now we have to be very, very careful of what I do. I think I need crit. Um, or maybe speed. Yeah, let's go for some speed. Let's go for crit. Th that was it. Really? That was all of it? Ooh, I hope there was a lot, a lot more. Uh, area. Area is very good. This is what I'm mostly looking for. Oh, thank you, Pentagram. Thank you. Thank you. And there we have crit. Please, Pentagram, do not wipe out the chest of the minute 10 boss, okay? This was so annoying so far. I, this is my third attempt, by the way. This is not the first time, as I said. Like, I died a couple of times. This is the third attempt. And I hope this time it will be enough. Could you actually shoot down, Mr. Heaven Sword? Um, there is a ton of experience on the floor, I think. As a red gem. Okay, I have to pick up the red gem. Otherwise, I'm wasting way too much experience over here. There we have area. And there's the red gem. Okay, let's quickly pick it up and let's hide again. Uh, might or chance? No, let's go for might. Area. Area? Okay. Speed, that it goes further out. Area. Might. Uh. You know what? I will get this pentagram one, just for the chance. And that it wipes out all the enemies there. Amount. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Wow, that shoots way faster than I expected. Whoa. Okay. Did I do it? Like, I think I did it, right? They can't kill me anymore. Let me just go here and see what happens. Uh, we have area. Um, well, I would say it's so-so. How about we really wait for the chest here from the boss? Just to make sure that I will do this. Okay, could you just, you know, could you? I have an idea. Let's walk over here and um, let's get the upgrade for the pentagram. Uh, where is it? There it is. Chest, 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 chest. Okay, area. And we go for crit. Okay, and now we have moon and something special will happen, which is whenever we get a moon upgrade, it will restart the blast off of the current gorgeous moon. So watch this. Do you hear it? Yes, it does it again, but it didn't stop the old one, which means it just keeps going. Like right now we have two moons going at once and the more level ups that I get, the more often I can do that and there's another mount, so another moon. Do you see now why I want to have as much curse as possible? And another mount. We will just blast all the enemies away like crazy. Uh, there's a little bit more speed. But I still have to be very, very careful what I do here. But this will be amazing. More crit. Very nice. And more speed. I want the sword to go out a little bit further than what it does right now. Area is really good. Ooh, careful there. Ooh. Still can't really move through the enemies. This is a little bit sad. I expected at this point it would be a lot easier, but it isn't. Okay, uh, we have more speed. Very nice. Yeah, I will die here if I do continue like this. So what I'll do instead is I'll hide for a moment over here. We get all the experience and maybe I get another moon. I didn't get another moon. That is bad. Like every time I don't get moon, I have a problem. There's area. Okay. There, uh, is this, th no, that's an evolution chest, right? This is the Arcana. Okay, speed. And let's go for the Arcana. I'm looking for a very specific one right now. Uh, this one would actually be interesting, but I want to go for the bounces. Honestly, the alternative would be some sort of healing. Like the gold Arcana. Yeah. Did I just miss it again? This happens to me recently a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Oh no, there it is, okay. So this will make them bounce, and hopefully this will make it a lot easier to deal with all the enemies. So let's see, do I still take damage if I walk? Oh, there's a mount, nice. Uh, it doesn't look too good, I gotta be honest. 
Like, I will still end up dying if I continue like this. Maybe not. Another mount? Okay, perfect. You know, if I would just get some food out of the Candelapa doors, we would be Gucci. But no, I just don't get it. Uh, crit chance or speed? I'll go for the speed. Ooh, the other game is lagging a lot. I'm a little bit scared there that it might crash. And there we have a mount again. Nice. Okay. Am I at a point where I can deal with them? Like, I think I am. More area? Okay. Come on, there must be a mount here. No? Um, oh, I guess area. Moon? Okay, perfect. And then we have more crit, just to guarantee the high damage that we deal. I don't remember how much crit chance this weapon has, so maybe I should have counted. But, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know. <laughs> I didn't. Area, there we go. Chicken! Perfect. And we even have some fire. Okay, let's do that now. This is the best time to walk through with the NFT. And maybe I will just wait for an NFT when I go for the Guardians. That might be the way to do it. Okay, like if you could... Yeah, there we go. Moon. And area yet again. <laughs> we just have a ginormous sword at the end of this. Oh my god. And moon. Yeah, perfect. And area, I'll take that. And area yet again. I just have to make sure that I see the amount on Heaven Sword. I don't even know if... I don't think amount does anything anymore at this point. Like, if you listen to the sound, it, I think it just shoots it out all the time. That means there's no improvement if we have more amount, since the delay is already capped out. And delay determines how much you can spawn of weapons that go in order. So, yeah, that should be it. Just more area, just more crit, maybe a little bit more damage that we go beyond the 400-500 that we have right now. But aside from that, I'm fine. We are, by the way, at level 122 right now. Amount, I guess, okay, let's let's try out one if something funky happens, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I will just keep going for area and speed and amount and crit chance and amount. Oh my god, we have so many moons going right now. And more area, yeah, sure, why not? As long as I see the 190s from the Heaven Sword, I will keep picking up the crit strike until it's eventually at 100%. And the moment I see that, I will no longer go for the area, and instead I will just go for might. And uh, I don't think the amount... Uh, that's... that's uh, the greed in me says, oh my god, there's a mount, you have to take it. And the brain in me says, why? Why? You literally explained why it doesn't do anything. Uh, where's the ring? Is it over... oh, okay. Um... I just realized the Guardian is on top of me, and I didn't see that. So now I'm really sad. I'm really, really sad, because this was my last revival, pretty much. Or my only revival. And just because I was blind. Like, I was looking for the arrow where it is, and I didn't realize that the Guardian was already on top of me and just murdered me. Oh, there's another Moon proc, nice. Yeah, he's so fast. I need to get more upgrades into the Heaven Sword. It looks like I can keep him behind me, and he doesn't get through, but that was such a wasted death. That was totally useless. Not that deaths usually have a use. I guess they can have a use. There's more crit, there's more crit. And there- okay, let's do one more amount just to see if something happens. And speed. The thing is, I can't pick up the, the arrow that we just uncovered there. Since I need it for... but well, I don't want to have the other Guardian with more curse. And I do believe, this might be stupid, but I do believe we can deal with the Guardian. Okay, sorry, I just had to quickly check with the other game, because there was something going on that I didn't like. It started lagging more and more and more. Uh, but there we go, we are back and we have more area. I do know that I don't want to have too, too much area, so I want to be careful that I don't pick it, as eventually you will get forced into area picks. And then the Heaven Sword doesn't hit the enemies anymore, which is, well, horrible. <laughs> you guessed it. Okay, that means I now only have to get over to the Golden Ring. And then I will pick up the Golden Ring and come back and pick up the Arrow for more Curse. I'm pretty much just going for as much Curse as possible, while hoping that my Swords will take care of all of the enemies. And I would say I have more than enough area right now. I maybe go for a little bit more, but yeah, do you see how quickly it grows in size right now? It looks like it... Oh my god, I almost walked into him again. 
Ooh, careful there. Please kill it. Please kill it with fire. Please kill it with fire. Please kill it. Um, might. There we go. Yeah, but as long as I keep seeing 200s, I will keep going for the crit. Just that I have reliable damage. He's stuck there, isn't he? Let's go for one amount. I mean, why not? Okay, a little bit more area, maybe. Crit, crit. Oh, ah, he got through. And he died. That means this is the only risk that I can think of. And we dealt with him. And there's the golden ring. Thank you. Now, one thing is a given. I don't know how good the upgrade actually is from Moon. Like, the amount. We pretty much got only a mount right now, I think. I guess he removed the chance one, it looks like. Because I don't remember seeing it ever. And there we have Might. And Crit Chance. I should actually check out if we crit all the time or not. I don't see a single one that is not a crit. Yeah, we might actually be at 100% crit chance right now. I think I saw a 100 there. No, I, it would be a 200. I don't know where it is. Oh, I, I walk past the uh, arrow. I don't see a 200. Nowhere. Nor 300 or so. So I guess now it's just time to go for might. And there's moon. Double moon proc, nice. And another moon. Wow. I also have to be careful, since another problem could be the the speed here, right? So I actually don't want to take any more speed, I think. If I take too much speed, then it will also shoot out too far. And I think this will mean that I will just leave the screen and not come back. So I will just not take any more speed or area, if I can. And instead I will only take might and crit chance. Well, easier said than done, you know. And there's another moon. And why did I want to have this chest? I didn't. I wanted to have the arrow over here. Good brain power there, Dex. Very good brain power. Yeah, looking around, I only see 700s, 800s. I mean, there is a chance that it's at like 97.5% right now or so. I, I wouldn't bother too much, you know. Uh, let's get one more amount, I guess. Might. Wow. What are the swords doing right now? I think they are going out here, and then... Do they actually still bounce? The, the, the risk that I have in my brain, where I said no more speed, no more area, is... They bounce when they hit the corner of the screen, oh, of the screen, right? So there is a chance, if they are just too big, or they go too far out, that they bounce off once they are out here, and just leave the screen. Which is the thing that I want to avoid. Because otherwise, we might just die here, way, way earlier than I wanted to. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this right now. They are already very questionable what they do. I mean, it's... Am I actually shooting out more with the amount? With the increased amount? Wait, what? Oh, uh, I just thought about how I wanted to take the silver ring. That gives area. <laughs> oh boy, that would have been horrible. Good that I didn't do that. My, there we go. It will still take so long to get through this game. It feels as if I've played for half an hour or so, but no, we're only 17 minutes in. And I'm still eyeing the other game to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Plus one amount, that is a freebie, and another freebie, and another freebie, and my perfect, and moon again. Hello there. Oh my god, just imagine how crazy it will be the moment we get to 28 minutes. This is where the heavy hitter starts spawning, that give you an insane amount of experience. And 29 minutes is by far the best one. Because that one only has the enemies that drop 30 XP per kill. Just in case this doesn't make any sense, a quick explanation. On this stage, pretty much all the enemies give you between 0.5 and 3 experience per kill. At 28, there is a split, the witches give you 3 experience, and the weird floppy flying things that are called Medusa, like they are literally just called Medusa, they give you 30 experience, however, at minute 29, all of them give you 30. So, you can imagine, if we already level up this much right now, <laughs> we will level up a ton once we get there. It's pretty much 10 times the amount of experience, actually even more. Since this is split right now, and I think the Blobbleheads, they only give 1 XP. And Moon yet again. Dude, we are already level 300 by the way. 
And the most hardcore part will happen later. Yeah. You might notice the behavior of the Heaven Swords is already really weird. But I don't think speed would help this more. Like I kept picking area, since I have the fear when the speed is so ridiculously high that it pops out and it's immediately outside of the screen, it will mess up everything. But uh, yeah, the area is kinda also getting us there, so I don't know what to do. Maybe I should instead go for speed. The thing is, once we go beyond the speed value, that was it. It's just game over. Ooh, two vacuums. I will keep that in mind that they are over there, and instead I will just wait over here. Now we have might. So there is one thing that we could also do, which is I don't pick up the experience all the time. Well, I can't do that because we have moon. Never mind, forget about that. Like I wanted to say, we save up all the level ups, that we pop them all at minute 28 onwards, and then we just have moon blast after moon blast after moon blast after moon blast, you know, to get a ton of experience, but that will not work. I wonder if luck would have helped here to get more offers. Uh, maybe it would have. Then this would have been a valid choice to go for luck and have more offers about the gorgeous moon. Well, that would actually only work if it would give you more offers, right? Because luck would affect every single upgrade from all weapons. The only benefit would be if you get instead of like three offers or two offers, you could get more offers. Yeah, then it would be good. Oh, uh, I picked up one of the vacuums. I wanted to save one for 29.59, just to make sure no matter what happens with Gorgeous Moon that we have that, and one for 29 minutes just to get as many blasts going as I can. But, uh, what? Oh, um, thank you. <laughs> that is nice. And there we have Might, and there we have Might, and there we have a mount. Perfect. And there we have Might. As long as I keep it going, I'm happy. And there's more Might. Oh my, wait, what? Oh, I didn't see that boss. I hope he died a while ago, because otherwise that was a risk to me. And I didn't notice him. Just imagine how good this would be, if instead of the Heaven Sword, you would have a weapon that has a horrible raid with upgrades. So something like Laurel, something like Clock Lancet, this would be insane. But you would need to replace the main weapon, which you can't do without modding. And there's another one. There we go. Wow, we have a triple moon blast now. Do you hear that? How it's overlapping? Oh my god, this sound is dying. Ooh, th yeah, that's a lot going on. And there's the Arcana. So what Arcana would I ever want to go for? I can only think of two. One would be the one that gives me a change in area. Reason is, if I ever go beyond the max size, then the negative 25% might bring it back. However, at the same time, it might be the reason why I go over the max size, you know, so I don't want that. I think what I will do instead is I will keep rolling. And I think I will go for, no, not Disco of Gold. I am looking for Awake. Yeah, there we go. I think Awake makes the most sense because there's just nothing good to take right now. I might be wrong with this and maybe I should have went with something else. But as long as I have the f oh my god, so many moons. As long as I have- oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> as long as I have the fear that the weapon might become too big, I'm definitely not gonna go for the area one. Oh my god, we have so many moon blasts going on. I don't think they even stack. Like, it doesn't make any difference since all the enemies are dead. But if I keep moving, maybe, that might do it. Oh my god. And there's another moon blast, and there's might, and more might, <laughs> and more might. You know what, I think it's about time that I turn off the damage numbers once I get the- uh, there we go. Okay. Oh yeah, that is a lot better. I never thought I would celebrate it so much to see three options, because for me this means I always have something to pick that is not speed, nor area, like this one here is <laughs> not great. I mean, maybe you can even go way, way further, and I'm just scared because of no reason, but um, no, I'm not gonna risk it. If I fail to do this, like, if my swords stop attacking the enemies before we get to 28 and 29, that will be horrible, because the entire run was for nothing. But, funny enough, we are already level 600 right now. Well, close to it, you know. 
Do you have an idea how long it takes to always pick up these weapons? Like every single time I have to pause, I have to look at them, I have to pick the might, and then I also need to look if there is maybe... Ooh, careful. If there's maybe a moon. The recording has been going on for 51 minutes right now. 51. And just in case you don't believe me, uh, take a look here. Uh, there we go. Do you see the time at the top right? The last time I've shown the other game, the 20 minutes till dawn, I think it was at 1.30. I might be mistaken, but I think it was at 1.30. So, uh, yeah. It has been going on for quite some time now. In fact, it has been going on so long that I had to switch over a couple of- Oh, I took the wrong one. I had to switch over a couple of times just to clear everything that is on the stage and it doesn't become too, too laggy. Which is not a good preparation given that I will go to sleep later and it will just run overnight, which I don't think will happen. But in case I don't have footage of what happened afterwards, then yeah, now you have the answer. I went to sleep. How about we quickly check how much damage we are doing right now with Heaven Sword? Uh, is it 4k? 4.3k? Oh my god. Wait, I wanna see how much damage Moon does, because Moon will show us how much HP the enemies have. It always does the max HP of the enemies as a damage, which is pretty much an insta-kill. And if it doesn't insta-kill them after it hit them, that just means the enemy is immune to Moon. Um, 1.9k. Yeah, I would say we are outscaling them hard, like really hard. But then again, you would expect this on a weapon that has crits, right? And there's another moon, perfect. And another moon, perfect. Okay, I have such a crazy amount of moons going on. Do you hear that? The entire sound is dying. Okay, watch this. It should go off any moment now. <laughs> there was a, I think there was a triple explosion. And I'm pretty sure it's not over yet. Oh, what a joke. We are now hitting 28. And for whatever reason, Moon hasn't shown up in such a long time, and now two times in a row. Well, actually that is really good, I would say. Yeah, no, now I'm happy. It was just, like, I was scared that maybe it has a ma oh my god. Maybe it has a max amount of levels that you can put into it, you know? And then it just doesn't work anymore. And I just messed this up by putting too many levels into it. There could be a valid reason, if there's a cap, to say, okay, I'll stop here. Like, I'll not even put any levels into it early on, that I have all of them later on. But it seems to be fine. Now, oh, there we go, another moon. So this is the... <laughs> oh my god, I have so many moons going right now. So this is the wave where we go absolutely bonkers. Please don't give me too much area now and everything gets messed up. Oh, there we have might, there we have might. Eh, it's still looking good, doesn't it? Yeah, I would say it's still looking good. So I want to be moving while the blasts are going off. That it hits as many enemies that are spawning. Oh my god, oh my god, it's just going. Yeah, I want to hit as many enemies as possible. Ooh, I'm, mm, that is a bad timing to level up right now. There's another moon. Can I maybe do it like this? No, it didn't work right. Oh, it did work. Okay, perfect. So now I can still move. I will just do it with my keyboard here. And there we go. And there we go. Since I don't want to get stun locked in level ups, and then I can't get the additional experience over there. Area, perfect. Ooh, I'm I'm walking off. And might. And might. And more might, okay. Um I mean I'm thankful for all the moons, you know, that appeared out of nowhere. But how about you give me some more moons? There is a moon. Oh my god, okay. Thank you for finally showing and okay. Something is weird. I mean, it's also explained just by chances, obviously. Like, the unluckier you get that you don't get something, the more you will see it afterwards, so it equals out to its average. But it's such a weird behavior. It's almost like a pattern of, yeah, you got Moon now a couple of times. Like, it shows up a ridiculous amount every three to five rolls. Like, look at this. <laughs> and then you don't see it anymore for 30 to 50 levels. Oh my god, we finally hit 29 minutes. And just for the comparison again, there you go. 215 minutes in the other game. Yes, the recording is now... Wait, why doesn't it disappear? Oh, wait a second, there we go. The recording is now 1 hour and 7 minutes for one single game. For this one here. 
And the crazy part is it will get worse because now we have the crazy guys that will give this ridiculous amount of experience, all of them, not just half of the wave, all of them, and our growth just keeps going up. So it's even worse than the previous wave just by the increasing growth, but also they pretty much effectively double the amount of exp well, it's not doubling, but it's close to doubling. But now I want to see as many moons as possible. There we go, perfect. Yeah, I had a drought where not a lot of moons were showing up and hopefully now I get all the moons, but do you see how big my swords are? Yes, that could be a problem very soon. I hope not. Then again, I don't even think it matters too much. Well, actually, I want them to kill the enemies, yeah. So it does matter. If they get too big and they don't attack the enemies anymore because they're just out of range, that would be horrific right now. Like, the worst possible time where this could happen. And there's another moon. I don't want to get too close to the vacuum. I don't even know if it's still there, by the way. There's a high chance I accidentally walked into it, since I don't really see a lot of my screen. The best feeling ever will be the time when we get to minute 30, since, since I will just click on random always. Like, we don't need anything anymore at that point. Except, okay, there is a bug that I do remember, where if you freeze the enemies on the last second or so, and moon goes off, then you still get the experience for all of these enemies that shouldn't be there anymore, but for whatever reason, the game still considers them there. But for that I need to find a freezer at the very end, and I need enemies alive around me, which I think is very unlikely. Yep, looks like I'm in a time again where I just don't get any moons. It's fine, there's still a few going, but I think only one or two, which is not optimal. Oh, there's more might, and there's more might, and <laughs> how many level ups will I need to get the next moon? I don't know, it will take quite some time. I can't believe my brain isn't, well, a German would say much yet, which is just, you know, the dirt with the water if it rained outside. Uh, pretty much a puddle. Well, I think it is actually a puddle. No, it's not a puddle. Much is something different. Much is like a puddle, but dried out. And the stuff, the, the, the wet dirt that stays left over. Uh, I, I know, there's a word for it in English, and I just don't know it. Gorgeous moon, perfect, might. Hey, my brain is much, as I just explained. So obviously I won't remember the word. And more might, and more might, and more amount, no might, and more might. And moon, hey, moon, perfect. How about another moon? Do I feel another moon? Yes, I felt another moon and there it was. And another moon. Uh, I only played for 14 seconds, oh my god. <laughs> no. This will take so long. Oh. Sure. Okay, I have a ridiculous amount of moons going right now. I think it's something around 8 or so. I might be wrong, but a lot of them will go off at the same time either way since they happened back to back. But boy, oh boy, I got really lucky there, and now they're just gone. So this is not really what I wanted to see, but I mean, I mean, I'll take it. Uh, there's the next one, perfect. Might, and more might. Yeah, I'm, st I'm still at 30 seconds, okay? I mean, I'm progressing slowly, but what is my level right now? 1.3k? Ooh, great number there. Oh, did you see it? Well, it's, it's gone now. Oh boy, I never thought I would complain this much about the size of my sword, but well, there we are. You know, anything can happen in this world. As you can see, I think they left the screen. They are right now still killing the enemies as far as I can figure, though I don't know if this is just moon constantly going off or if those are actually the swords. It does look like the swords, and I could turn on the damage numbers that you see what damage it has right now, but this will severely cripple the experience that I'll get, so I won't do that. It's that simple. You just have to guess whatever damage it has right now. But it's more than the wave can take, and that is the only thing that is important. And I think this was actually it, because I don't have any more moons right now. And even if I get them now, they are about to be too late. Oh, well, there we go, there's another one. And there's another one, okay, well, perfect. So they do take 12 seconds to pop off. That means we are right now 15 seconds away, right? So, if I don't get them until 48, they pretty much have zero effect on what will happen. Uh, there we go. Well, do you want to give me another one, maybe? Please? More amount? No? You don't want to? Well, okay. To be honest, this was great. Well, there's another one. Perfect. This might actually be the last one. They can still happen before the 30-minute mark. Oh yeah, now they all show up. What a meme. 
Uh, let me go, and speed, and might, and might, and uh, more might, and more might, and more might. In fact, no, I can turn it on when we have Red Death there. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, there is a freeze down there, and we are around 3 seconds left from the game finishing. So this is probably the only time- oh my god, don't, don't walk up, go down. This is probably the only time where I can take it in an attempt to freeze the enemies, that they stay, with the stuff that I talked about. And it should be fairly easy to recognize whether it works or not, since, well, either we level up or we won't. Uh, but there we go. And I think it's picked- is it picked up? No, it's not picked up yet. Ooh, it might actually be too late now. Oh, come on. It's so close. Just a little bit more. And it's picked up. So I will walk to the right, into the enemies. Are they frozen? I see blue. I think everything is fr uh, frozen right now, right? Okay. Oh, uh, no, no, they disappeared. It needs to be at a very precise time, where they are dying in that very moment, and then they get frozen. I mean, that was still good enough, you know. So, let's just do random always, there we go. Let's check out the damage. That is 11k, not bad. Not bad at all, I would say. 1692. 1692. 2.2g damage with Heaven Sword.